Well, we're joined now by Democratic Congressman Joe Sestak of Pennsylvania, who recently held a health care town hall uh, that lasted five hours, had a thousand people there. Congressman, always good to talk to you, but um, I've got to ask you from the hey, political Tom. side, before we get into the, to, to what happened with you, there's been a lot of publicity about our inspector getting people in his face. You are a candidate for the Democratic nomination in Pennsylvania against Arlen Specter, who switched parties, so now you two are going head to head. Is that helping or hurting you that Specter is getting these, uh, this publicity of people with their fingers in his face? Look, the only important issue here is whether Pennsylvanians will be able to get health care, because 1.4 million Amer uh, Pennsylvanians don't have health care insurance. All that said, however, this election, Tom, is about leadership. And I've been pleased to see that Arlen Specter has been following my leadership. He's flipped on card check. He's flipped on public health care plan option. All this after he derailed the Clinton health care plan in the 90s and has a poster board in his office, which he proudly displays because he said it was big government running health care. So the future is about leadership, and I'm glad he's following me. You know, Congressman, here's the issue. And, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, the Americans who have taken to the town hall meetings are being vilified by the Democrats in various ways, such as being evil or un-American, where they're just exercising their free speech rights. We at Fox Business understand that there are certain elements that enter into any meeting. And, by, by the way, Democrats have also put behind the scenes pull the levers to sway these their own kinds of meetings as well. Uh, but the question is, economists have pointed out that half of the, of the uh, spending in, on health care in this country comes through Medicaid and Medicare. In other words, that a lot of doctors know that and they uh, often put a lot of costs onto private insurers, that the cost system is already skewed against private insurers. How will your health reform make that situation any better? What a great question. To the first um, portion of it, I do want to say that I disagree with Arlen Specter and actually Governor Ed Rendell. I went to the 67 counties throughout Pennsylvania in July, and I found all Americans have anxiety about what this government, which has not been accountable over the past eight years, is now trying to do as we didn't help them prevent this recession. And so I understand in my belief that this is all Americans saying, boy, government, you fi better get something right finally. Number two, you're right. This effort we are doing now is trying to make sure that those who have private health care plans are able to keep them because we lose 14,000 Americans every day off the private health care plan. Second, it's to bring in the uninsured and get them covered because you and I, as sing if we're single, pay $400 additional in our private health care plan to cover the uninsured when they go to an emergency room and the hospital pass on to the insurance companies to pass it to us. Now, what do we need to do in Medicare? We took the first step. We said there are free co-payments now for preventive care because if the seniors come in for a bone density exam, for a glaucoma exam, we will get their illness quicker, rather when it's acute, and be able to start bending the health care curve. Do we need to do more? We do. We actually cut about $160 billion out of Medicare because Medicare Advantage was being paid 11% more for patient Medicare Advantage than normal Medicare. Yeah, but, but we've only but got a couple. Does more need to be done? Yes. We've only got a couple seconds. Same question I asked to, to the Republican Congressman: Is this bill going to pass in the fall? Yes or no? Are we going to get a health care bill? Yes, it will. Okay. Yes, and it must have a private health, public health care plan option if we're to discipline cost. All right, Congressman Joe Sestak of Pennsylvania. Always Thank good you. to see you. Thanks so much, Congressman.